Welcome to F260 Week 10, Leviticus 26, which is entitled, Be a Marine for God. Highlight verse, Leviticus 26, 3. If ye walk in my statutes and keep my commandments and do them, and also Leviticus 26, 14. But if ye will not hearken unto me and will not do all these commandments. Explaining these two verses, uh, there is a vast contrast between the blessings of obedience promised in verses 14 through 12 of this chapter and the curses of disobedience in chapters 16 through 39. <clears throat> Applying this, there are multiple blessings for obedience, prosperity, peace, safety, and protection, fruitfulness, and victory over enemies. The curses of disobedience, pestilence, disease and plagues, poverty, drought and debilitation, death, desolation and destruction and defeat and war. In the parable of the two sons in Matthew 21, 28 to 31, the first son was asked by his father to work in his vineyard. He answered and said, I will not. But afterward he repented and went and went. Um, he also asked his second son, and he answered and said, I go, sir, and went not. Jesus said, which of the two did the will of God? Verily I say unto you that the publicans and the harlots go into the kingdom of God before you. When it comes to being obedient to God, it is not just those who perform all the outward acts of religion, that is, they go to church, they don't swear or abuse drugs or alcohol and so forth. They do all these things, but are they also loving and kind to others and obedient to all of God's commandments? If they do the former things, but not the latter, they are just like the second son who talked a good game, but in the end, he was not obedient. Jesus tells us in Matthew 7, not everyone that says unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. I myself especially had to learn obedience. Uh, my parents were divorced, and mainly my mother and my grandparents raised me. They were kind and loving, but they pretty much left me to my own devices. Consequently, I grew up to be a very self-willed person. So the best thing that happened to me was when I joined the Marines, because that's where I learned obedience. You can't be a good Marine if you don't obey orders. In a combat situation, not only the success of our mission, but our very lives depended on it. And you can't be a good soldier in the army of God either without obedience. As Christians, we are also in combat situations. It's called spiritual warfare. And the success of our God-given mission and the preservation of our immortal souls is dependent on our obedience to the commandments of God. Not just the Ten Commandments of the Old Testament, but especially the law of Christ as it is laid out for us in the New Testament in the Beatitudes of Matthew chapter 5. My response to all this is this. Let us all aspire to be a Marine for God. Amen. God bless.